Hello, I'm Epix Toycat, and it's very obvious to anyone who loads up Minecraft after the most recent update that bees have been added to the game. They're even on the menu screen, right? But how exactly do you find bees in your normal survival Minecraft worlds? And this is something that is trickier than you might assume because bees are only found in three biomes, and in two of those biomes, they are incredibly rare, which means if you want to find bees and you want to find the bees' nest, you're going to need to go through some steps, especially if you're in an existing world. So today's video is the tutorial on how to find bees in existing and new worlds, and then what you can do with them once you've found them, so let's dive straight into it, shall we? So like I said, it is a bit easier if you're starting a brand new world. We're going to use the seed Bees Please today. It's one I found earlier that has a guaranteed chance of having bees next to spawn. Obviously, if you want to find uh, you know bees on any seed though, it should be easy enough because any new biome of three types will spawn with a chance of having bees in there. One is the Plains biome, which is the most common of the three types. There is the Sunflower Plains and there is the Flower Forest. The Flower Forest is, again, for reasons we'll mention later, the one you want to go with. However, even if you spawn on a Plains, there is a 5% chance for a given tree to have bees and in this case as you can see our closest tree to spawn on this speed literally this close 20 blocks away from spawn uh, has bees in it and to be precise if you want to find these bees because you might wonder what makes them spawn why are they so rare even in the free biomes you just mentioned toy cat it's because of the fact that they'll only spawn when these bee nests are around so again like I said before bee nests have a 5% chance of spawning on any given tree in just three given biomes the flower forests which are quite rare the sunflower plains which are very rare and then also the plains biome which is incredibly common, however, which has very few trees. So you can see across this entire plains biome, there are, you know, right here, there are literally just two trees. There's one over there and there's one over here. Two trees across the entire biome isn't a great chance of finding bees, but it's what you kind of have to deal with if you want to get your bee population started. So um, yeah, obviously having two bees, you might think like, well, I kind of want more than two. I want to get a whole farm going so we can get more stuff going on. I'll teach you how to breed them in a second. But for now, just note that there's three biomes. The most common one you'll find it on is a plains and the most, uh, uncommon one you'll find is the flower forest. However, you have a decent chance uh, once you get to the flower forest of actually finding bees there. So yeah, finding new bees is a matter of finding one of those free biomes, and we'll talk about why the flower forest is the one you want to look for the most, whether it's a new or an old world. But first of all, if you're in an old world, you might think like, oh, there's no chance of me getting bees, or you might be told erroneously, just go to one of these free biomes and a bee nest will be added to your existing world. That's not how Minecraft works. Minecraft only adds these during the world generation phase, which means you need to explore brand new parts of your world you've never explored before. Once you reach brand new chunks, the new chunks will generate with the new world generation, which includes bee nests, which means you'll be able to find bee nests on the trees, including this one, maybe? Okay, over here you can see, here is a bee nest on a tree because you can find bee nests in existing worlds if they're in new chunks because your existing chunks will never have bee nests in them unless you move them there, but old chunks can have that just happen. So now we know, just explore new chunks. You'll know when they're new because they'll generate slightly differently. Or if you're not sure, uh, you know, about where new chunks are, just try to get as far as you physically can away from, um, you know, like your old world. Get hundreds or thousands of blocks from the furthest away thing you've explored. Uh, you'll know when you get far away because weird things start happening. But just again, get as far away as you humanly can. But yeah, the interesting thing is you want to look for flower forests mostly. Looking for plains biomes like this one will sometimes net you a single bee's nest, which might be great if you're willing to breed them, like we'll mention later, like again, somewhere in this plains biome, oh look, we actually did find a bee's nest, which is useful for getting one to three bees. Um, you know, there is literally a single, oh no, there's, there's two bees here, cute, it's a breeding pair. Um, and there's even another one over there. These are wonderful by themselves, but you want to look for flower forests. What is a flower forest? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's self-explanatory when you see a lot of flowers, not just a few because flowers spawn in every flower forest. When you see like every fourth block on the ground covered in flowers, you'll know you're in the flower forest. And the reason you want to look specifically in these is because as you can already see, there are lots more bees found here. And this isn't because, oh yeah, flower forests have a higher, you know, percentage of, uh, you know, bees spawning. No, it's still the 5% chance for every single tree. But as you can see, because there are so many more trees, because it literally is called a forest, you're going to find so many bees here. Also, uh, you know, it doesn't take, but look, as you can see, three bees nest next to each other over here. Um, that is pretty astounding, I think, uh, you know, you'll find. Um, I, if you want, I can give you guys a seed where you can spawn near a flower forest, if that's something you'd be interested in. But for now, just kind of keep on, keep it in mind that if you want to find a flower, if you want to find bees, you find the flower forest. If you want to find the flower forest, follow the bees, I guess. But yeah, the reason that you want to find these biomes is not just because you get more bees, which is nice by itself, but it's also to do with the way you breed bees. 
Because here's the thing about bees, they won't just go out and look for flowers on the ground so they can pollinate them and so they can get honey back to the nest, which is wonderful, but also uh, flowers work as the breeding material for bees. Get, uh, you know, give two bees some flowers each, they'll do a weird dance and a baby bee will come out. This thing is ridiculously adorable. I do have to say though, the size of this miniature bee is still too big for a regular bee in Minecraft. Like these things are ridiculously sized, right? They're Minecraft's cutest mob, they're adorable, they're ridiculous in every way. And uh, yeah, it does have to be said, if you want to find them, that's a great thing. However, here's the deal, right? Just having bees is great and walking them back to your house might be a viable solution. But if you have to travel thousands of blocks to find your nearest flower forest, and statistically, some of you, I hate to break this to you, if you have an existing survival world you've explored a lot of, you might have to walk thousands of blocks to find your nearest flower forest. You might not want to do this and taking bees into the nether sounds like a recipe for disaster. So what can you do in this situation? And let me show you exactly that. But when you see bees going inside one of their bee nests and because bees always spawn next to a bee nest, this is a thing you'll see happen fairly often. Oh, as you can see, by the way, they brought enough uh, pollen back to the nest to make it a filled one, which won't affect our next step, which we're gonna do as soon as we know there are bees in there because in the time it took us to enchant our tools, um, obviously bees have left and gone in. So let's wait till they go back. Because just like that, we know there's a bee in that nest 100% now. And now we can use any silk touch tool to break the nest. Uh, you can use a pickaxe if you want to. The axe is the technical tool, but why would you have silk touch on an axe? I think that would make you, uh, you know, pretty concerning. But yeah, if you do this, you'll be able to take the bee's nest around with you. It actually show that, okay, and if you do so, you're also going to upset bees because that's their nest. That's their home you're taking their dog. But yeah, you can now take this bee nest with you. And this makes bees a fairly unique item because it means that you can actually take them around just by putting them in block form. So yeah, taking this bee nest around with you, we'll take whatever bee is inside there. It might be more than one, but we'll assume it's one bee because now when we look, put this down, let's say inside our Minecraft base, which in today's example is gonna be this hole in the ground, our Minecraft base, we put the bee nest down. Uh, what will actually be able to happen is the bee will be able to leave the nest. That's right, you might not have believed me just there, but there is in fact a bee leaving the nest now and now he can be trapped inside your base, assuming your base, unlike mine, uh, doesn't have windows, which means you can make bee farms using this technique because you don't just need uh, to do bees that way. But also, yeah, that's a thing. So the other cool thing you can do with bees, because obviously the bees are now going to go back to pollinating the whole thing, is you can also use bees, uh, you know, bee nests to make bee hives. And the way you do this is by shearing the bees hive once it's full so that you get some honeycomb. And again, you upset bees when you do that. That's their home you're messing with their dog. But yeah, basically uh, also when they sting you, they die eventually. So more reasons not to want to do it. But yeah, what you can actually do interestingly enough to me is you can take some of the uh, you know bee uh, honeycomb you just got. You can use a crafting table. You can combine it with wood to make something called the bee hive. These bee hives are exactly the same as bee nests, except you can craft them. So that's you know really great by itself. But it means if you want to have a lot of beehive capacity, let's make all of them in fact, you can have like an entire row filled of beehives and you can kind of store a lot more bees this way because a bee's nest only spawns naturally and there's only so many of them in your world. Again, even that flower forest there only had five of them, but you know, if we farm a bee nest long enough, we can make beehives, which are exactly the same. They have the exact same functions, except because you can make more of them, you can store more bees. Because every bee's nest and beehives can store between zero and three bees, there is now room for 15 times three, 45 bees, plus these six, I guess. So we could add another 18 to that 45, and now I'm making you do maths in a Minecraft video. Yeah, tricked you. But yeah, as you can see, they die when they sting you. So it's ideal not to let them. If not for your sake, then for theirs. And that's, I guess, like bees in real life, I would say too. Like, pro tip, bees die when they sting you. But on the other hand, bees shouldn't be stinging you. So that'll teach them a goddamn lesson. But yeah, so here you go. Fun fact, um, bees in Minecraft, they are found in the flower forests, in the plains, the sunflower plains biomes. Look for one of these free biomes in Minecraft. You'll know the flower forest because it's the only forest covered in flowers. You'll know the plains biome because it's this flat has this colored grass and uh, it's, you know, it's the only place where you can find cornflowers, I believe. Um, they have very few trees in them, but they've got a chance of spawning with bee nests. And then also the sunflower plains, you know how you'll spot it? Do you know? You, 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 you do know, right? You'll you find the, the sunflowers there. So yeah, also on my channel, I'm gonna be looking for a seed which has a flower forest super, super close to spawn, just so if you wanna find a bunch of bees, you can. Uh, that will be going up as soon as I do find the seed later today, make sure that you go and watch that video because an update just came out and that means a bunch of Toy Cat videos. For better or for worse, expect to see some more things like this in the future. Also, I'm eating 15 bananas today. Um, that's not a weird bit, that's just like, I lost a bet. I promised I'd eat 15 bananas when 1.15 came out. 1.15 is out and therefore I've got to eat some bananas. It's gonna be a whole thing. I'm gonna throw up.
you can look forward to it if you watch my live stream, which you can see by subscribing with notifications turned on. Thank you very much for watching this video, though. I hope it was informative. And I hope it made you choose to become a subscriber to the channel. <laughs> or hopefully to not be unsubscribed because of my terrible puns, if nothing else. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, because I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. You're not going to believe what you'll be learning in this tutorial.